hello and welcome to a new video today i'm bringing you my august tbr which is probably going to be back to being super ambitious because this is me um so i'm taking part in two readathons in august the first one is just the week-long one which is the first week of august and that is camp spoopathon i'm really excited to join this i haven't actually planned my entire tbr for this yet um i've only planned two books and i'm gonna see what else i can fit in around what i'm gonna end up with for um the other readathon which i'm doing which is the magical readathon obviously it is the autumn equinox semester i'm really excited um i've worked out my prompts that i need and i've actually got a few that involve random generators so i'm gonna have to do them here and now so i'm doing this a bit differently this tbr video usually i do my mugs at the end but i'm gonna do them at the beginning in case I can fit either of these books that I pull into my Magical Readathon random generator thing. So we're going to start with the NetGalley mug. So let's go for this one. Please be nice to me. Oh, okay. Um, it is Breathless by Jennifer Niven. Um, this I, I really liked All the Bright Places when I read it. And that was why I originally requested this. I don't know if I'm going to like it though, but we'll see. And then the Kindle jar mug. Please be a contemporary romance. It's not contemporary romance, but it is I Bring the Fire Wolves by C. Gockel. Um, This, I believe, is one of those Kindle Unlimited... Um, fantasy romances um, that was 99 pence so I got it so I'm actually looking forward to this um, I will need to remind myself of the covers um, but we'll see we'll see maybe maybe so I am I'm, I'm in training I am studying to become a demonologist um, so for the autumn equinox term I need to get a O in Elemental Studies, which the prompt for that is start a book with a drink. This one, I'm not going to assign an, a book in particular. I'm just going to pick whichever book from what I want and just start the book with a drink in my hand and vlog it if I remember. Um, so that is just going to be a random one. Um, I need to get a Q qualified in spells and incantations so the first prompt for that is use a color wheel and pick a book matching said color so i am gonna i've got a little color wheel let me start recording my screen okay so let's see what color i get okay so we have yellow so i need to pick a book with yellow and actually this has worked out perfectly because next month i'm buddy reading her majesty's royal coven by juno dawson with catherine and this is a mostly yellow cover so this is actually so perfect thank you color will okay so the next prompt um i to reach qualified stage i also need to do um the q prompt for spells and incantations which is find someone else's tbr and pick a book from theirs i'm kind of cheating with this because this is a buddy read with Catherine and siobhan so obviously it's on their tbrs and that is book of night by holly black we are going to be buddy reading this in the first week of august and i am very excited because very excited look at me two fairly new releases yet not reading my backlist next up i need to achieve an o in conjuration so the prompt is a book with necromancy themes now i am stretching this one because i'm going to read learn my lesson by katie robert now from what i remember desperate measures has no like fantasy element which means this will have no fantasy element however Hades, even though in this he might not be, Hades is the Lord of Necromancy. Like, he's the like king of the underworld and he's the Lord of Necromancy. So I'm stretching it to this because although he might not be in this, he's still Hades. He's still based off of Hades. So I'm stretching that. 
And then next up, I need to get a D for distinguished in demonology. So the O prompt is reader fantasy. So I'm going to be buddy reading Maroda by L.L. See, this has L.L. McNeil, but um, Lauren actually goes by L.L. McRae now. But this is the original printing um, version. Um, they, they are currently in the process of being slightly tweaked and um, re-released and it, they will be re-released under L.L. McRae, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to read this. This was Lauren's debut and I'm very excited to see what this is about. And I'm going to be buddy reading this with Lisa and Catherine. So, yay! And then to reach my Q prompt, I need to use a random number generator for my TBR books. So we are going to be back on recording the screen i actually um updated my tbr like want to read tbr um on my goodreads yesterday so you'll see here i have 416 416 um i don't know how i'm going to work out the numbers here if it gives me a really big number but um let's move over to here so we want one to 416 139 okay so i need to figure out how to do the numbers on this because it doesn't give me numbers i also realized I'd, it was in the wrong order um they were all added yesterday to be fair um i'm gonna just need to count so bear with me okay i had to count because I tried to go on the actual Goodreads website and because I log in with my Facebook, it wasn't working. And I've had to like actually count 139 and I think I've counted wrong and I don't know which out of these two. Um, I don't know whether it's Adrift by Rob Buffard or The Yearbook by Holly Bourne. Um, I'm gonna go for Adrift because I think it was Adrift. It was one of them. I'm going to go for a drift. That's the slightly like less easy book to read as well. So we're going to go with a drift. Let me just go get it. Okay, so we have a drift by Rob Buffard. This is a um, sci-fi. So yeah, a drift. And then the final prompt for Magical Readathon is to reach the distinguished level of demonology, and that is to read a book that's at risk of being unhauled. So this was kind of perfect in the sense that I have a self-destruct TBR that I haven't touched yet, um, that I filmed in March. So um, I will be reading Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Um, I don't envision myself keeping this. I don't think I'm gonna love this. And I have heard some questionable things which I heard after I'd already purchased the book. Um, I will be budget reading this with my mum because we actually, <laughs> we bought these at the same time with the intention of buddy reading and we bought them like three years ago. Might've been two years ago. So we're gonna read it, but um, I don't really wanna take, I don't really wanna spend too much time on this book because I've heard some things that, just Google the author, some not great things, so but I want to get it read so that I can get rid of it, basically. So that was the magical readathon. Um, um, now for Camp Spoopathon. Um, so this is the amazing map that um, Spoops created for this. So there are two paths. So I don't actually know um, how I'm going to do this um, because I haven't planned all of my books but we're gonna we're gonna try this so the first part I'm doing the I'm gonna do the bottom the bottom path which is actually five books um or five prompts rather so for campfire alpha it's to read a ghostly book now spoops did actually say that you could if you could interpret this however you want so it could be a book with ghosts or it could be that there is a ghastly character um so i'm doing that and i'm gonna read learn my lesson by katie robert because hades is a ghastly character um this will also get me bonus points for queer rep representation because there is apparently um male male in this which um i mean just reading the thing it is 
Hades, Meg and Hercules. So I'm so excited. Plus I believe Meg is bi in this series. I think that's hinted at in Desperate Measures. It might be actually mentioned in Desperate Measures. Um, so this will get me bonus points for queer representation. Um, I don't know if this is set in summer, so I can't put that as a bonus prompt. Um, but it has been recommended to me by many people and this was actually bought for me. So it was definitely recommended. Um, so yes, I will be reading this and this should get me some bonus points to help me when I get to the killer in between prompts seven and eight. <laughs> The next one is number three, which is Lover's Rest, which is a deadly romance. So for that, I'm going to be reading Lake's Edge by Lyndall Clipstone. This is, she basically falls in love with a monster and there's romance and she's in danger. So it's a deadly romance and I'm very excited to read this because the sequel is going to be coming out fairly soon. And this just gives me major Crimson Peak vibes and I love that movie so much. So yeah, um, this... I don't think this is going to have queer representation. However, this was recommended to me because of the um, Crimson Peak vibes. So I can't remember who it was that recommended it to me, but there was a few people, I think. So I will get bonus points for that. And I'm not sure what time of year this is set. I feel like this is going to be more of an autumnal setting rather than summer. But if it does turn out to be summer, then I can get bonus points on that too. Um, for the next one, it is number five, Campfire Beta, and this is just sprinting. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to um, use some sprints to read in. However, I am going to try and read a worthy opponent in those sprints. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to read it in one lot of sprints. I might be able to, which if I do, that's read in one day. Um, but also this will work for recommended to you as well. So I will be picking a separate book for sprinting. Like the book itself doesn't have anything to do with sprinting, but the book is gonna fit a couple of, at least a couple of the um, bonus prompts. So I'll get some points there. And also I'm gonna read it whilst sprinting. So there's that. Next up is number seven, Pixies Park. And this is a read together. So I'm gonna be buddy reading Book of Night by Holly Black. Um, so this will also fit the bonus prompt of um, buddy read. Um, again, I don't know what time of the year it's set and I don't know if there's any queer representation, but if it has got any of that, then I'll get some bonus points, but I'll get at least one bonus point for buddy read because read together is a buddy read and it's also a bonus prompt. So yeah. And then the final prompt is prompt number eight, Brad Oak Thrilling. Now Spoops did say this doesn't have to necessarily be like a thriller or that type of book. It can You can interpret thrilling in any way you want. It's gonna come to no surprise um, that I am reading Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. Um, it's coming out in August and I want to reread it before it comes out. Um, and this is like, I'm thrilled to have this book and to be able to reread it again and to be able to say I've read it twice before it is actually released. So I'm stretching thrilling for this. So that is basically my TBR. I do have a couple more books. So I am going to be buddy reading Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. I'm buddy reading this with Catherine and Siobhan um, because they have been reading the Throne of Glass series and I, I had recently reread the first two books. So I just said to them, when you get to book three, I'm going to join and they get into book three. And this is my favourite one in the series. This and Empire of Storms. So I'm so excited to... Um, be back um so yeah we're gonna be buddy reading that and then of course i do have clockwork princess which is the august book for by the angel along um very excited to get to this um i will say now the we are going to be doing the live show for this in august it's going to be the 31st of august so it's literally the last day of august i do tend to try and do these the first or second week of the following month but because i'm gonna be in florida in september for the first two weeks it's just gonna be better for us to do it before i go to florida so we're gonna be doing it on the 31st of august so i'm just giving a warning now to everyone who is taking part just so you know the clockwork prince live show will be on the 3rd of august so there will be a solid four weeks to read this after the clockwork prince live show so i'm very excited and then the only other books 
I have our four vlogs that I am doing um, in advance for the two weeks that I'm in Florida in September. So I'm not actually going to show you. Um, actually, I'm going to show you one um, because there's going to be two vlogs and one of them, you've already seen two books from it. So I'm going to be reading the rest of the Wicked Villain series. So that's The Beast, The Sea Witch and Queen Takes Rose. So one of the vlogs that goes up in September is going to be me reading this entire series. And then there is another Disney related vlog that will be going up a uh, disney reading vlog should i add that will be going up the week the other week i'm in florida so i've got content planned for while i'm in florida i've just got to get it done in august so i'm really excited for august um i'm possibly gonna have a lot more time so i'm pretty confident about this lot um but yeah i'm I'm looking forward to getting through all these and there's a few rereads on this. There's one, two, there's three rereads because I have no chill whatsoever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I was about to say I've forgotten my mugs, but I haven't because I did them at the beginning of the video. But let me know in the comments if you are taking part in any readathons in August. I did, there are a few more that I've seen that I would like to do, but it will be a case of whether I can fit these books into it. So um, we will see what these books bring to that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.